Okay, and I am back after effectively a long vacation. I didn't ever mean to, it just was a bit burnt out, new jobs kind of weighing me down quite a bit, trying to get settled into there. I haven't been on this for quite a while. Um, I did a couple of number of minor things, formatting jobs. So that was a bunch, a couple of CI things. But I effectively haven't been doing anything since the beginning of October. And it's now the end of November. So basically two months. The only thing I did today was to update the Vulkan Minilib support for new version of Vulkan. Which is just whoop, just modifying um, the external. Just pulling the, some new modules. Some modules. Some mo sub modules. Ugh. So. I need to do something. Well, first of all, actually, does it still work? Yeah, I already compiled it, didn't I? And it works. Right? Yes, it does. No real errors. At all. Okay. Great. So I need to... Okay, let me look at the list of things I have to do. I don't really feel like any doing any of them. I want... Okay. Let's look on something more interesting, something new, something fresh. Uh, let's have a look. What What's taking up a lot of lines of code in main? So this is what? Starting XR, okay, that's not great. That's what? Nearly 300, 400, 300 lines. Okay, that's uh, 200 lines, 250. Mm. The main loop is about half the application, so another 1,000-ish lines. The rendering. Okay, started at what? 1200 and go 1230 and goes to basically the end of the application of about 1900 so that's 700 lines and rendering is still very much a hard-coded affair not really great not really great for flexibility or for doing interesting things visually so I'm gonna have to, I, I need to do something about that I really do But the question is what? Rendering, rendering. I don't want it to be hard coded. I want to have to be able to, I want to be able to split. I want it to be fairly dynamic as well. So I don't want to have to, I don't want to like just transplant this hard coded thing into something else and then like start ballooning the, with a number of possibilities of how to do visual effects and stuff. I want to really be able to like define things on the fly, especially if I can try to take it out and be able to you know um, determine in some fa some fashion like can I define visuals via settings in like a file. Like a, like like anything else, you want to be able to, without it becoming like a a, a huge more morass massive spaghetti. Uh, what's it, the term? Ball of mud. I want to try to keep things fairly light, like I've done with practically everything else that I can do here, and that means something. Okay, uh, there is something from a number of years ago, if I recall correctly, that I saw, like a GDC presentation. I don't think I saw it. I, well, I saw it online, like a set of render graph, something like that. Mm. Okay, something to do with Unity. Render graph system. Uh, this doesn't really say much. It's 
It's more about how to use it. Okay, scroll down. Render graphs on Vulcan. Ah, render. Okay, here we go. Dice. The, ah, okay, here we go. A GDC presentation by Dice a number of years ago, 2017. I recall seeing this and being interested in it or excited by it, but I never got around to actually doing anything with it. So, Yuri O'Donnell, thanks, I guess, for keeping this online or whoever this is. Along with a bunch of other things. Anyways, if I recall correctly, okay, so they had like a... Fairly, I imagine this is much like when I think they had a hard coded with a bunch of branching paths and stuff, and was became unmanageable. Mm -hmm. they added more, yeah, they kept adding stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely something I recall. Uh, you get render passes, you get resources, and you kind of define where they go. And then I presume, like, there's ability, like, if you have multiple branching things, you'd be able to call... Okay, you can compact thing, the graph back down. You'd be able to... Something... You'd be able to move stuff around, or... Hmm. Move things between, maybe. Ah, I think this is, yeah, this is what I was thinking of. Based on, like, where the output comes from, whether it came from the lighting or the debug, you can, like, call certain part portions of the graph and be able to, you know, basically lighten the load a little bit. So it's much more dynamic at runtime. And then some other stuff for async compute, how they did it. Mm, some better resource management or use for textures in this case. So from 147 down to 80, 77, 76. Okay, a bunch of savings if done right. Great. I don't think I can really work on the, the resource fancy schmancy stuff at the end there, but what I can probably remake is this. This is what I this is the more interesting part I'm really interested in right now is the the ability to basically define a graph, call what you're not going to use, and kind of be able to somewhat dynamically choose at runtime, on the go. The entirety of the visuals rather than, rather than uh, hard coding it and kind of just yeah something like that something like that I'm going to try to recreate this uh, I'm not using lambdas I'm not entirely too sure about that input output frame graph frame graph resource Mutable resource? Hmm. Do they say how they create resources inside a render pass? Hmm. Not entirely sure on that either. Three phases. Setup, compile, execute. That makes sense. Setup is def definition. Compile is like looking at the whole thing, calling out what you do, don't need, and then executing at the end. And their graph is uh, insane. Simplify resource, simplify running pipeline config, async computing resource barriers. Okay. No, 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 no. Yes, this. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to focus on. So, <clears throat> to begin with, I'm going to have to start from the the end and work my way backwards. So that I can like figure out the calling as well, if I can. Uh -huh. So, 
I will be getting, I'm not sure if I want to do presentation. Maybe I just want to like bring a image into the system and output it and then pass it to the presentation. So, and then, okay, start with the UI at the back end and then kind of work my way uh, backwards from there. Let's uh, create a new thing here. Render graph. Well, they call theirs a frame graph, but I want to do more than just a frame. Frame. No, render graph to me makes more sense. I might be able to reuse a render graph. Maybe. I'm not sure. If I can define a render graph and compile it. Like, if, once I define it, I could just change maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's grab that. Uh, it's not quite 2020. That and that. Okay. Okay, to begin with, we need render graph. That will consist of, let's say, a vector of jobs. Okay, our render graph job will have a name. Mm, some other stuff. Let's say Hmm, not sure. Okay, what about a resource? How do I define a resource? How do I find, how am I going to define, let's say, how these resources are reused? Because it could not, it might just not be like to uh, used in one, it could be used in multiple things. And then I'm going to need like semaphores all over the place to make sure that they uh, don't. that they alias correctly, that they're not like uh, being used before that they're complete from uh, the previous user. Or, okay. Perhaps. Might be, okay, what do I want? Okay. <laughs> How to start, the starting point. What do I want to do? What if, okay, let, let's try to keep this all together as it is right now. What I want to do right now is once this is done, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the buffer from here, the um, texture image, the presentation one, I'll pass it into my system, and then I'll pass it back out, because so that I can figure out how to import a resource, an external resource, into the graph, and then re-export it, and that'll serve as the output that I can work backwards from. So, So I'll create a
like that. Move the empty. It will be included. Okay. We go all the way down here. And then I need to basically do like an import job, import and then export, something like that. Uh, right. Let's do something like an import. job, your import image job. So it's much like this. It's going to what? It, it brings out a render graph resource. Import image. I mean, it'll be considered a job, but it doesn't actually do anything. It just passes in an image. in the render graph from there. Uh, we need a number of other items for this. We need the view, we need the extent. Render pass? No, we need the image layout, wouldn't we? The initial layout, the final layout for the render pass. This is what we need. Okay. And the format. This is the layout it has it's being brought in as we need to say whether it's mutable or not. Because it could just be like something to read and that's it. Okay. on this quite yet, but I'll have it in a second. Mutable is an actual thing, isn't it? So I need to actually say it is mutable. Yeah. And I would also need one for exporting it back out. So much like this. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna re -ex I'm gonna export the image. How? Source, uh, the layout that it's going to come out as. And then I'm also going to need like the semaphore. Okay, I need um, I'm going to need a bunch of semaphores to, to say 
Like the the external, whatever's happening after this is going to require, is going to have to wait for these semaphores to complete. Like for the system to complete and these will be signaled. So signal semaphores. And then I need the same thing on the other side actually. Uh, so it's mutable and then I need Um, wait seven fours. I need a wait. Clang appears to be broken. Great. Anything else? Not really. Uh, we're not returning anything. We're just t bringing the resource out. And that's the end of the line for that. Okay. Let's, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more here. I need to say whether, I need to say whether it's an output job or not. Or output, yeah. just false. I need to pass in the name of the pass of the job, if you, if you will. Name of the job. Same thing on the export. Import export. It's going to be passed in the render graph. I'm going to need some other items. So IT swap chain image image sorry oof yeah hmm okay let's just say we have only one image to deal with for now equals under render list zero swap chain so the image is swap chain image view on the current index which is what Wired index. Dot uh, surface format. Dot format. For the format, we have the extent. Uh, the image layout is present. Correct. Presentation source. <sighs> right, it's mutable. And we don't have any of those yet. It's, uh, yeah.
Oh, the name, the name of the... Uh, Reopen it. Hopefully, Clang decides to come back alive. Doesn't look like it. Or. Okay, kind of does. Anyways, we got that, and then we'll just bring it back out. So. With the render breath. Resource, which is the present image resource. The layout is going to be this again. What else? And we've got the signal 74s, which we don't have any yet. And that'll be the extent of the system. Then we'll have to do like process the graph. File and execute. And that'll be all I'm doing right now. So it just kind of, it gets in the system, it gets semaphore across, released, process. Then I'll start adding in the UI and a bunch of, and the rest of this stuff. But this is, this is the bare bones. This is the bare minimum that has to work. Can I do it? Eh, maybe. Okay, so importing Let's grab that So render graph job. Let's grab this. Why is form why is formatting not here? Why it no work? job it's the job dot name equals name. it's not that okay I need to create a resource render graph resource that's being spat back out so this is the imported image How is this going to work? Like, I don't necessarily want to bring carry the state with me all around, and I need to be able. I need render graph resource to be somewhat generic, so that I don't, so that I can expand it with other types. I don't want it just to be images. I also want to expand it to buffers and other types of specialty nonsense down the line. I'm sure. I'm sure I could even make it uh, do other fan fantastical things, but I don't want to necessarily close off those other futures too early. So,
So what? What do I do? Do I have like a list of It's like maybe I could do like a okay. What is what is the stuff okay, what is the stuff I need to bring with me, unround with me? I need to let's say render graph resource. I need to point to what the resource is. I'm gonna need a V Do I want a semaphore? Because I need to be able to synchronize them? Maybe? I don't think so. Okay, I need provider. Who provides this resource? Some kind of job. Uh, And that can't change necessarily. Something like that. A provider and a resource. That's it. Two pointers. That's enough. To, okay, that, yes. And then I can pass that on and it can iterate expand on that not sure exactly how that that will work yet but what will happen is what I'm returning what I will return equals okay this needs to be pointers Like that. in there but this becomes pointer that that we will then be adding to the render graph jobs dot in place back we'll standard move this job around job dot get P resource equals no pointer for the moment. Imported image. Mm -hmm. Not sure what the job does quite yet. Or how, okay. Yeah, how am I actually going to process the job? Especially if I want to try to keep this somewhat expandable. They use lambdas. I guess that makes sense. I think, yeah, um, if we add a functional, like that, we'll have a function, it's going to be a, what, what, what what's it going to take in? It needs to take in, okay, no, actually, what's it going to return? Nothing for the moment. Let's say, let's include it 
takes in a graphic session. It takes in a way to delay destruction of whatever is created inside of it. Okay. And what else? Semaphores. Uh, a number of semaphores. For both going into the system, so wait semaphores. it up and we got the execute function That makes sense to start with. Let's just work on that. Equals copies of things. We have, oops, didn't actually mean that. Okay, that's what's going to happen. So the, the, the it begins, we have there's no actual weight semaphore, so we want to like Just not even going to do that. So auto like that. We're just going to equal get copies of that over. Okay. We need uh, what are they? Uh, waiting pipeline. Wait pipeline. What are they? These guys. got weight masks which we need to be of the same size as not ready semaphores and it's going to be all stage all commands bit I guess to begin with Okay. We're not actually going to do anything. We're just going to submit. Okay, submit info.
This needs to be UN32, correct? Mm -hmm. We have one command buffer, which is no, we don't. We don't have any. Sorry, uh, just none whatsoever. Can I even submit without a command buffer? Um, I guess I'll find out. Otherwise, I'll just create a garbage like command buffer. Signal from the full count equals. I should be able to just use this as like a synchronization point between two sets of semaphores without a command buffer. That it would make sense that that should exist. I mean, there's nothing that says I have to be more than one, is there? Or greater than zero. I don't recall. Whatever. Anyways, so the rest of it is basically this. So I'm not quite there. Okay, so that's probably something I do want to actually spit out of here. It is an error code. actually have a fence. Oh, well, error code equals that. But that's not an error code, that's something else entirely. I need to Convert it. Yeah. Okay. So this is what will happen on the execution. We have that. I need the. I need the resource. I need to create the resource. On the render graph side, do I does okay? Does it have to be? Does each of the these independent resources have to be managed? by the render graph when I could instead do something along the lines of shared pointer for the moment I think I'll kind of roll with a shared pointer I think. You know what? No, 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 no. We'll just kind of. I'll I'll just have it be a part of this for the moment. I need a. Some kind of. I don't know.
or you know, just kind of everything, I guess. Do I need the semaphores? Not really. I just need that for the job. Okay, so this is something I'll kind of put here for the moment, I guess. I'll create a bunch of pointers at that thing. Oh no, I need to have it fully here for um I think MSVC requires it to be fully defined. So what for the moment we'll just kinda of say it's that. You have a unique pointer of that. I'll figure out something better later. When I got a clear sense or view of the whole system. So back to the imported image, what we're going to do, we don't like it. Okay, we've got that. We're gonna be doing that. Dot get. So I do render graph. That, that, we're returning that. Okay. Uh, I guess I'd have to give it a name somehow as well. I want the name of the resource that I'm creating. Um, so draw, uh, resource name. Image name like that, okay. Okay, I have that. Got the imported image. That and that and that and that. Okay. That's the end of the line of that. Okay, I think that'll work for this. 
then I need so going back to the application I okay import image Yeah, okay. Export the other side of this equation. Make unique the render graph job. Right. And then this is an output job. It's the other way around. We don't have those, but we do have weight semaphores. Instead, those are the ones we're bringing in. We're returning that and that to that. Okay. So. Stage flags. No, not wait so far as wait, uh, wait flags, mask. All commands, great. And we're basically kind of the same thing as this. We're grabbing the signal semaphores. I'm not exactly sure how to enforce the layout. Layout is going to be kind of a based on <sighs> I'm not entirely sure. But basically the same thing as this, at this point. Including those two. And I just kind of need to add
Yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so before, at this point, I'm going to put that off for a moment. I need to actually add these to be compiled. That's something. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Because, what did I just not include? Add it, import image. Sorry, uh, go to the. Well, undeclared identifier. Okay, so if I was to run this and F5 or uh, yeah, go to this point, I should have render graph. It's got two, it's got one image, it's got two jobs. Now I need to figure out how to render. Make that a bit easier. Two jobs, one imported image. Okay, that's not very useful. Neither that or that. You're not gonna oh uh, point do reference that please yes there we go just give me the name please Wait, there's no output job there's no X did I not Okay, P job is what? Okay. Um, we're not running building in debug. I'm building in debug. Parlor. It's clang. Yeah. Have I just completely and utterly forgotten how to do this? Okay, if I was just to. That's right. Mm, all right. I will work under the assumption that it's still mostly working correctly and it's just I can't figure I'm I'm just an idiot. 
Okay, now I need to figure out how to kind of better de. I, I need to be able to string these resources and stuff together now. I need to create the relationship. So like, let me bring this back. I need to be able to figure out like, oh, this came from this, and this is going to this, or going to other things. That's what I got to do now. But I'm I need a bit of drink. So B R B. Okay. <clears throat> now, right. Relationships between jobs and trying getting those resources around. Uh, what do I have? Re I have resources that. I think I'm going to have to have something else along with jobs here. I need something. Like, uh, which is kind of like this. A relationship. Between two things. So. Who provided the thing? So this I can gra grab from the resource. The so same thing with under graph imported image. At the moment, we'll have uh, the consumer. Got that. Um, got that. I need. Uh, A semaphore that represents between the two. Do I need a relationship? Do I need like a read, write, and a read only? I might. Not. Don't. No, not yet. Not. Not yet. Okay. So what happens is on a render graph, I'm going to have a. Vector of all the relationships. Relationships. These are what are tying everything together. Uh, right. I need some functions that kind of that generate this on the render graph. So I need like. Um, I need a, a read resource and a void read. Oh, no, write resource. Read resource, not a write resource. What's going to happen is going to be, I have the provider. So, I okay, I need the render graph that, I'm, that this relationship is a part of. I need the resource. that I need the job and then I'm gonna spit out the new resource like that it'll basically be the same thing for this Okay, I do need to have some kind of like, uh, you know, render graph relationship type, which is going to be read or read write. That's it. No, 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 no. I just have to do something like bool, right? Read only. Yes, no. Simple. Um, use resource. Then I don't really need this. I just need use resource. Mm. 
Yeah. I also need... That's, yeah. Okay. Render graph, CPP. I need to grab these two. Let's format them. I gotta fix that. I really gotta. Okay. I need to create, okay, I need to create the relationship first. This, this is what's going to be put on to that, so. P provider. That. That. P resource resource that re p resource okay we got read only equals read only and dot uh, semaphore is nothing right now i'm not going to actually generate the semaphores until i need them in the in the execution because I don't want to create more semaphores than I'm actually going to require or use. That's the idea. Okay, we have that. Place back. We'll do the relationship. So I could have just done that all in one, anyways. Um, New resource that we're going to be returning is going to be whether well, the provider is whoever's consuming. And P resource equals P re, uh, resource dot resource. And that's get what gets is what gets returned from the job. So I mean from other jobs actually. Not can I actually. Uh, merge this into the import image job really I don't think so because it's kind of a special case I'm not actually consuming or using anything I'm just generating a brand new one so yeah but this will be used on the export side no because I'm not returning anything from here anyways either uh yeah okay yeah hmm okay well when I do when I do the UI job, that's when I'm going to use it. But no, huh. I still need to use it here. I need to create the relationship. Um, so What, what, what did I call it? What did I call it? Consume resource. The resource. The job, which is that one. And it is read only. Yes. I'm not actually using it, but I have added the relationship. If this was any other type of job, I'd probably I'd be returning this instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay, let's make sure that by the time we get to here, at least that relationship is good. No. Of course it's not. Uninitialized here, struct something, what? Under graph imported image. Okay. What am I missing? The string? No. This? No, no, no. This is all good. Call to delete the constructor of render graph imported image. It's right here. Do I have it in two locations? No. What? Go about one by one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it this, the render graph shop? Vector? Okay, yeah, sorry, in the instantiation of the render graph job, you have this, this, and this. Static assert failed to the requirement is constructible. Result type must be constructible from value type of input range. What? I got, I'm just getting errors for all three, actually. Memory strings. Is, I don't understand. Okay, let's just... That works. It's the two unique pointer ones. What's going on here? Is it just because it's a unique pointer? Is the uh, did these things break in the meantime that I just wasn't aware of? I mean, I guess I don't need to have them as unique pointers. I can just have a manual destruction job later. Or sorry, not that. Well, this can actually just be a rendered. Ah, uh, no, I want to have a pointer for the moment. Okay, fine, fine, f f fine. We'll just do this. Okay. We are then back to this point. Sorry, where is this unique pointer coming from now? Oh, great. 
I tried to use smart pointers. Look where it got me. Okay. Uh, let's redo these things then. We'll, we'll, we'll not use smart pointers. We'll just create like new Same thing here. New that. We're not moving stuff, we're just copying now. Okay, and then when we destroy the render graph at the end. Okay, so for the moment, I'm just going to let it just memory memory leak horribly, so I can at least make sure that what I was going to do is working as I had hoped it would. So we got relationships. We got one relationship which goes between provider, consumer, resource. I'm assuming that the jobs. Provider to consumer, correct. The resource is that. Good, 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 good. Okay. Fine. Now, the render graph. Okay, how am I going to deal with this? Okay, one thing I should probably deal with is should return something. It should return this. In fact, everything should really be returning this. Right? I mean, is there any way for this to fail? Not really. Not yet. I'll, re I'll just return it from here. Okay. Oh, I also need to bring in... Those two. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I can pass them into the uh, job. So first of all, we'll do like Compile. We need to compile. We need to like call what we're not going to use. That kind of stuff. So standard queue. I think. I think I need want a queue because I want to go like in order. I don't want to have a vector and keep resizing, moving stuff around. Of Process, okay. Moving forward, okay. We need the list of seven four. Okay, I need since I'm creating semaphores at this point, at the compilation point, yeah, 
I'll just have one large list I'll just later destroy. So be later destroyed. Okay. Case before. Semaphores. I will reserve a size that is the same as the number of relationships because it's one per relationship. So, first I need to go through and process all jobs that have uh, that are outputting stuff. So I'm looking for this flag. No, it's not. It's just star p job out of the graph. Uh, go through all the jobs. If job if that, then add it to be processed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I won't process it quite yet. Dot push p job. Exported output from the graph in some way. Now I need to go through each job, determining which ones we're still going to need. So I now. job determining the ones we actually need and call the rest. No, uh, a for loop, a while if, while not to process dot empty. So I can just keep adding more items to the end right now, so job equals to process dot front reference yep A pop okay I need to find out which jobs I've actually already processed so I don't reprocess the same one over and over so I need that put job I need a boolean compiled process like that okay So if I already process continue, okay. Uh, otherwise, we need to say that we have now processed it, or we're doing it now, anyways. So. Or each relationship, we're going to have to go through and we, we need to find all the relationships in which I am the, con that this job is the consumer. 
so that I can like find so, so I need to go back to here I need to find like if lighting I need to find out like who am I consuming so I can go through that and figure out like I need to say okay I need to add this guy to be uh, processed because like I need this I need this one so it'll go like from here I'm using that I I'm using this who's the provider this so I need this and it just keeps kind of going backwards and then through that all these will be uh, will set as processed these will not these will be just none not executed and the same thing going the other way around so that's how I'm basically going to call what I'm not going to use or need yeah 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 I think that's the idea that's the idea so I need to go through the need to go through all these relationships I need to say Okay, I need to find, yeah, for all of them, if if this, then I need to go through. I need to create semaphores as well while I'm going through. One should be unique and processed only once. But if it if that's happening, then I got a problem. Otherwise, I'm here. I need to. Okay. Uh, if the provider uh, if it's not been processed, I need to add it to be processed. To process dot place. He will be processed sooner or later. Okay. Creating. probably a smarter way of kind of doing this so I don't actually have to do this yeah but I, I'm not there yet not there yet first uh, case and a four create can I just moment no 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 I'll just kind of keep it localized for now I'll deal with the fact I'm creating more than I need to later dot s type. that I don't think I have anything else to add to this right now so special flags I don't think so no there's none there's fence ones but not flat uh, some full ones so error code equals hmm.
Okay, uh, full graphics VK get device, I think. In graphics session, like that. 74 CI, no allocator, and. Oh, there we go. It actually caught back up. Okay, do I have. I need to. That one. Should bring that guy in. Yep, almost. Error code. I need to include. That convert correct. Turn error code. Okay. So at this point, by the time we're out of here, we've processed all the things that will be need to be processed. That's great. I think. So now I go to the execution phase, I think. So we just go through for auto end star p job through It's not been processed, that means it's effectively been called. So don't do it. Okay. Uh, semaphores. I am. Okay. These, the jobs should already have the ones that they're already waiting for from, oh, no, they won't. Hmm. Okay, I need to compile both the ones that are waiting. Oof. And then I need to figure out the ones that I need to signal. And then I need to pass them in. Alright. Mm-hmm. 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 Great. Let me think about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I guess I just kinda have to have to have two vectors. And like that. I'm just going to, have to go through the relationships again. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to have to go through this quite a number of times. Not too excited about that. I don't really have anything else, do I? Uh, okay. Okay. If P okay, if if I'm a consumer, then that means I need to be the one. I need to say, hey, you know, I need to add uh, wait semaphore. I need to wait for the provider to release this, yeah. Uh, relationship dot semaphore. Oh, and the semaphore exists. Well, no, I'm, as a consumer, it's always going to exist. It's signaling. I don't, like, my, what I produce may not be used by everyone. So, um, so 
So in which case I may have some relationships as a provider that won't have a semaphore because it's not being used. So I don't actually have to like do much in the way of memory manip manipulation up above. I just kind of just blast through it a several times. So signal semaphores dot and place back. That. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> Okay, now that I have these, now I can actually call the job, right? Yeah. Figure out the barriers. Now we do p job execute function. We need to pass in graphics session. I need to pass in graphics delayed. The destructor. I need to pass in the white semaphores and the signal semaphores. And then at the end, return error code. Okay. Do you compile? You do not. Ah, I need to add the other items to the application. So there, so that. Okay. Okay. So what I have here should technically work just fine. But in order to actually um I need I need to actually get the semaphores and stuff into place here. Into play. So uh per frame data, I need to add some more semaphore. So I have a render complete semaphore, so I need to have two more. Um, Pre-graph and post-graph. Semaphores, we're going to create them, so we got that. Pre, post. Okay, we want to kind of do the same thing going the other way. Switching back to the application, we need this. Okay, this is part of the, okay, the old job, which includes everything up to the UI, will not do render complete, it'll instead do pre-graph, then pre-graph will go into here as uh, something to wait on, 
So was it? Um, okay, this whole thing is that. Then we're going to have this, but for post graph. And then down a little bit more. Down here, it's going to be waiting for post graph. So, wait, do I even have render complete then anymore? Not really. Okay. Uh, and now we get to see whether or not if uh, I have command buffers, if I don't have command buffers, will even work. Well, I'm sure there's something else that's going to blow up first, but let's see what does. Yeah, okay, so something right out the gate. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we've got a big problem right from the start. Submits, wait semaphores, is waiting on a semaphore that has no way to be signaled. All elements of P submits must be semaphores that are signaled or semaphore signal operations previously submitted. Oh, okay, so they either have to be signaled already or submitted beforehand. Okay. Now, okay. So I still need to process, when I need to do execution, I do have the right idea because I have to move forward to back. I just need to rearrange this to be before the render graph. It needs to actually do this so that at least the, the, the pre-graph is submitted to be signaled, then this is executing. And then, okay, let's go this way. I guess that's something to make the, the driver a bit easier to build, perhaps. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to have a whole bunch of... I don't have... Really. No complaints about not destroying a bunch of semaphores that I created. Are you sure? Oh no, I just I just uh, ended the execution early, did I? Is that it? Okay. Whoa, there we go. Okay. Oh, I was uh, a bit spooked by that. That's actually not as many uh, semaphores as I was expecting. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. uh, delayed, delayed destruction. Not, not this. There we go, something like that. There we go. Uh, graphics. All semaphores. Oh, I didn't even add it. Yeah, okay, I need to do that. Need to add that to the list that it'll be destroyed correctly and so we got to go we can destroy sema 4 
like that. Do 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 there. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I got a different problem, but okay. Cannot call that is currently in use by a command buffer the Vulcan also in the batches. What? Really? Interesting. I thought this is definitely an equal, so this is a new one. Like it's always the same handle as well. No, it's not the same handle. It's the it's a different handle every time. Okay, so it's not that. That's not what I was barking up the wrong tree there. I mean, if this didn't ha if the, if this didn't happen, then I would actually never escape, right? I would never render anything, correct? Please tell me I'm correct. Yes, thank you. So I am, I am technically using render graph, even if it's just two jobs passing the one thing over. But why am I not? Why is this happening? Yeah, it makes sense. There's only one semaphore. Can I... Wait. Maybe... If I go inside, like how many... Well, how many is it delayed? Yeah. Maybe it's just a function of the fact that it's not being delayed enough. Please get inside the function, not the vector stuff. Thank you. Okay. So go that. Go what? Current delay is... Who knows? Three. We're delaying by three... Am I just like firing it off just a little bit too early or something? Like what's going on? No, something entirely different is happening. Cool. Heat buffer overflow. Okay.
What? Wait, 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 wait. So I created that. Okay, hold on. Let's rerun this. So it fails. Right out the gate, right? Yeah. Okay. Here. Acquiring the next render target. That's great. We're going in. We're adding a call. Which goes into this. Num delayed is four. From where? What like what's the call? What's the call? The call is this. There's no specific number attached to it, so it's being delayed before the, f the maximum four, right? That's fine. Okay. Keep going until we hit the next one. Which is execute render graph. We're going to put it in slot number four. It's fine. Carry on. Next one. Okay. Acquiring render target. Great. Okay, so what? We're, we're delaying it by zero. I'm sorry, what? Uh huh. Acquire an extra under target. The maximum. Max buffered frames is that. Okay. We go in, we're rendering maximum buffer frames. Okay. We passed in three. Okay. Okay, then we went in here. We got three. We counted it down, right? While this is greater than size. If, okay, if num delayed is greater than the size, we're, we expand the list. Otherwise... Okay, uh, I gotta see this. In action. Okay, we're here. We've got max buffer frames of three. Great. We come on in. We're here. Okay, great. We're inside from just there. Okay. Num delayed. Three. So we're not doing that. We're locking it, we go through, we don't do that, we're here. Function list equals the current list. It was at the end of the loop, so I automatically incremented it right away. Oh, I can't do that because uh, MSVC will kill me. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. So do while? No. No, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I can do a do while. So I do at least once. If at the end, for whatever reason. Otherwise, carry on. So... No.
No, 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 no. No, that doesn't even make sense then. Because then it would have just increment. If it's zero, it doesn't increment, so it stays on the current list, which is a valid list. Brought on by this. Mm -hmm. That's a move. this fix it? I don't understand. I mean, apparently it would. So somehow it's landing on this. Is it only entering this for that to start with? Yeah, okay. So one, two, three. On well, the fourth time it's failing. Okay. Okay. All right. Three, four. Okay, so this time, what's going on? Uh, sorry, kill, cancel that. Fine. Give me it. Wow. Great. Okay, fine. Whatever. Num delayed three instead of four. That's why we're in here. So first things first, we're just going to go through. So we go in. It's not the end. Because this is an iterator, right? This is an iterator. Can I please find... No, here. No? Is it not actually here? Did I just completely... Is it actually in here? Oh, there it is, yeah. It's an iterator of that. So that should be fine.
What is going on? Like, is the current list actually... What's going on? It, it, what? Okay. Uh, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Of course it's fixed. And now I have that extra check down there. And somehow that's fixing it. One, two, three, and then we're on the fourth one. So we go through. We're actually going through. Yes, great. really do not comprehend what's going on and why that's the case but okay I don't understand I don't understand I've moved the list I should be checking it and moving it if it but then I if I check it outside the loop on to like I'm d it's correct okay you know what maybe I'm just not I don't have enough brain power to my mind is blown right now for whatever the hell's going on here so I'll just deal I'll just you know hack that great fantastic oh and that seems to have also fixed up the the other issue there so whatever <laughs> When destruction call. Sure. Now, let's back out of that for now. Okay, so right now, if I do this and run, wait, it, let it run for long enough, it won't complain about the semaphore issue, right? For some reason, if I do plus one, it's fine. 
Okay. Okay. And then if I go back to somewhere in here, up here. Set this back to just be the same number as the number of frames. It somehow thinks that they are still in the pipeline. Is currently in use by command buffer. Why? They shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, well, what I will do is I will put that there for the moment. Okay, so back to render graphs again. Uh, for today. Uh, so where I left off was... Ah, yeah. I had the problem where I needed to increase the number of max buffered frames. Otherwise, I would run into an issue where it would complain about... Actually, no. Hold that. Hold, 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 hold. If it matches the same number, it's instead going to run into an issue where it's going to say something along the lines, can't delete... Semaphore because it's already it's still in use by command buffers. Yeah, this, which is not really good, not 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 what I was hoping for. So why why would it be doing this? Why does that? Why do I have to have increased by another frame? Why? Oh, you know. Okay, now that I've slept on it it seems pretty obvious it's probably because the the fence delineating the end of the frame is up here instead of down here at the end of this so this happens this says the frame is complete it turns over it starts destroying stuff even though like this still has to finish i guess i need to kind of okay for the export image i need Two. All right. How many fences can I do? I can only do like one fence per submit, right? Yeah. Okay. So each each job that I can do, I can probably also add. So with the job name, we'll add a VK fence. So both that and that. So these are the three like staples for every job, render graph, a name, and a fence. And then, then this is like the job specific stuff. Same thing going on here, that, the name, and then fence for when this job is finished execution. Since I'm putting all the jobs in, uh, or submitting the jobs into each on their own. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll do, so that changes itself to name. Fence there, so that becomes name. Blah 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 blah. I need to update the render graph job to include like the complete uh, the fence. Fence equals fence. So on complete, we'll do and we'll give um, fence. I could just put fence in like that. I don't. I don't even need to do that, do I? No. So I can just pass it straight through. 
to the lambda. Okay. Then if I go back to the application, do this. Pass that through like that. Oh, is it because I have this? That's not even taking any effect. That's supposed to be what happens. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, it looks like they changed it, that's why. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, now I got uh, freaking formatting again. So, do, 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 do. let's see how this fires off. And this has got no modification up there, so it is three for three. Correct, please work. Much better. Okay, so that was it. The fence was just in the wrong location. Okay, sensible enough. I can work with that. Hmm. So what I can do right now, I got the new branch. So what I want to do is, do I really want to do this quite yet? I don't think so. You know what? I'll just kind of put these in a stage. For the moment, then I'll actually increase the size of everything a little bit. <clears throat> Is that readable enough? Uh, that, that'll have to do. Okay, so that's resolved. So at this point, now what I want to do is the UI portion. I need to I need to flip the UI into like a render graph pass job type thing. So close all this up. Go into render graph. We've got um, UI. Something like this. Something like that. We'll go up here. Like this. Okay. Need uh, ba, 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 ba. copyright.
Okay, what's going on in the UI pass? I'm going to be just slapping some stuff on to a color buffer of some sort. So, like on an export image. We're okay, we're going to be returning a render graph resource. We need to include the render graph. Have like a render graph. The name of the job. What about a fence primitive? Uh, the render graph resource has to be a what? I just turned the target, whatever. Just that. Mm, is there anything else of sp specific note? I don't really think so. So we'll kind of start with that. Just kind of put that there. That's what we we'll begin with. Okay, great. So mm, we'll base it off the export job. begin with job uh, we just have this stuff we'll have weight and signal semicolons. is there anything else after that not really just kind of ends Graph uh, the resources that render target. This job it's read write not read only. That's that. Then we'll do render graph dot jobs start in place back. Job and then we return the render target output. Then in here, what's going to happen is basically whatever's happening in the application right now inside the render target UI section from here in the editor mode area. So Okay, yeah, I, I, yeah.
Friend of Pass. I mean, it really would just be kind of... I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. Kind of flying a little bit, bit blind. So for the moment, we'll just kind of go with this, right? This is what we're doing. A graphic session, okay. Where is this declared? It's in session, yeah, okay. Uh, the render pass pool. What is it? Is it a Vulcan? It's a Vulcan specific one. So that gets that. Uh, this becomes so auto star p image. Okay, we're assuming it's one one sample bit right now. That's not really great. Then we okay. What are we doing for frame buffer? I'm not entirely. Yeah. Okay. So this would be. I'd almost have to be creating frame buffers every time and then destroying them right after, wouldn't I? That would be like this entire section. Oh no. Okay, um, damn it. Right, we'll just we'll just make one and then we'll delete it every time. As annoying as this is going to be right now. So it's not that, it's the render pass we already have from earlier. We have one, we have one attachment, which is the view. Create the frame buffer. Turn it. Um, otherwise, we want to do something which will. Is there anything else? Mm, a command buffer. I also need a command buffer.
So realistically, what's going to happen is each render pass will have like a resource set that I can reuse each time, I think. That'll be the idea. Uh, whatever. Later. I can't really effectively do it right now. So I need to... Uh, add a new delayed destruction call. Which would be like this. Do, 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 do. What's it going to do? It's going to, when we get back to this thing, we're going to destroy the frame buffer. Okay. Sorry, what? Do I have an extra something or other? Yeah, I have an extra thing going on in there, don't I? There we go. Um, there we go. Turn error code. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's that. The salt chain extent is this. Clear the render pass, and then I got command buffer stuff. So, I also need to pass in the these two things. So I can, f yeah. those two things I guess as a pointer as pointers P like that and that okay These classes are they what? What are they? The classes. Okay, we got those two. That's great. We'll then include. moment I need a do 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 I basically kind of just need this stuff
I'd do that stuff, and then I'd have if I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. Hmm. Okay, I need to pass in... that as well. Make my life a little bit easier at the moment. Then I would end the K command and render. Whoop. At that point, it'd be just the usual kind of hackery at the end. So, to submit stuff. The one we'll just kind of do. Job submission. This is the number of weight seven four some size. Da, 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 da. We got command buffer count equals one. Man buffer we got. Otherwise, graphics queue fence blah 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 blah. Okay. Error code equals that. That and that. Okay. It's kind of. Fix that up to be that. Now I need to get a command buffer somehow. Okay, 
command buffers and stuff. I can probably, per frame data, will have a bit of yeah, creating command pool. I think everyone getting a, a command buffer out of that. from the session like that so you do yeah I'm definitely going to have to move this stuff out of here to something a bit smarter but for the moment this is what happens we got this Command buffer allocation, we get the hit from the command pool, we're allocating the one command buffer. Out of that. Can I do flags? Command pool, command buffer count. F command pool flags, maybe there's something in there I can use. So there's like one time only kind of thing. It can't be that hard, come on. Yeah, it's up here, thanks. Reset. Transient, ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Whatever. If I successfully create the command pool, I want to also be able to delete it afterwards. BK. Sorry. Command pool. This command pool, that, great. Then I need to start command buffer. Okay, where's the first mention of this? It's right about here. Command buffer begin stuff. Great. One times, yeah, okay. Begin command buffer, we do this stuff, then we end it, okay. Then back to the application. out here so it'd sit between these whoop not here it'd sit right about here UI pass job target Nope. 
So we got that, we got that. Uh, we'll have a fence. No, we will not. Render target. Uh, this is the present image resource. We have I mean the index. All right. And then after that, that's what's going down there. Six, but seven provided. Okay, hold on. Render graph, the name, the fence, the render target, the render. Okay, I didn't add the uh, frame index to the end yet. Okay. So now we got a chain of three items. It's very linear. We've got import, render, job, export. Hopefully I can do this correctly. Now, I'm not even really dealing with this stuff yet. That's still like, I still need to actually be able to handle that, but I'm not yet. I'm handling it as well as I'm handling it here, as in it's hard coded and I'm, I'm yeah, that's not great. Not great at all. But does the rest of it work? Maybe. Okay, I need to... Do that. Let's um, let's see how bad this is going to end. We end the command buffer. We do this stuff. Pre-graph. We go into this, and then we get back out. Is it going to work? I don't know. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Something is going to go wrong. Yes, there you are. Okay, I did not begin the render pass. Good. Good, 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 good. I found something I did not do correctly. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, there it is. I would have done this. In the render pass begin info. Okay, we've got the frame buffer that we're working on. We got the P render target image extent. We have a clear some clear information. Okay, whatever. I'm not actually using it. Good, good. It didn't actually work. Thank goodness for that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 
if the k pipeline object bound to the pipeline point is used by this command, of course, any dynamic state that state must have been set or inherited. Right. So what I'm missing right now is what am I missing? Pipeline state. There's state I need to bind somewhere up here. I would have said it right. This is the XR stuff, right? The XR stuff. Begin command buffer. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, the viewport and the scissor stuff. So after that, began the command buffer. I would have set this stuff up. Okay. 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 That's pretty okay. I mean, how, how big is this? About 200 lines to, from what, 1791 to, so about 100 lines to 200 lines. But I will, I've also got a lot more um, state setup and teardown going on here. So, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So, okay, do I want to, what do I want to do now then? I have this. Like, there's definitely some things I need to do. I need to kind of figure out a better way to, to deal with resources on a render graph. That much is absolutely for sure. Uh, I'm also going to need to... deal with I okay I need to deal with like uh, the layout of images across different jobs like I can't just assume this that's not gonna work same thing with samples that's gonna have to be like integrated into the the image information in the pass-through I think hmm I'm not entirely sure. Like, yeah, close to a hundred lines is just set up for stuff that I had already in here. Actually, let me uh, try to re-size uh, the window and see how, how that even works, if it even works. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be having too much in the way of issues there. So let's try... Okay. No, first of all, if I um, want to do anything, I should make sure that's actually like not leaking stuff everywhere, right? Do I have address sanitizer and stuff going on? Okay. 
114 odd kilobytes in a lot of leaks. Okay, not great. Render graph, import image. We are uh, leaking a, an incredible amount of something in here. Okay. Okay, it's in here somewhere. I'm allocating something. What? Oh, right, the jobs. I'm not deleting the jobs afterwards, am I? Yeah, okay. Uh, render graph on end. For the moment, we're just going to have something that just goes through like. originally had them as unique pointers and that didn't uh, have, uh, go very well. Uh, um, all right, so not so great. Keep us after free on this address. Previously allocated by this, yeah, okay, that's great. I'm sorry, what's going on? What? How is this being deleted twice? Explain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the end of this, we're deleting this. Okay, that's great. This is not how it's supposed to be. Why is it being deleted twice? Keep use after free on address. At this point in the destructor. Did I just not, uh, I mean, I've, I, I'm pretty sure pointer, uh, the stars automatically there, but yeah, so that's not it. Twenty-four, twenty-two, nineteen oh three. 1903. Okay, so hold, hold on. One, you deleted it. Sorry, what? It's a copy! 
to copy. Oh no. I was passing by value, not by reference. So yes, of course it would delete it twice. That's a good bug to have. So now can I do this? Yes, thank you very much. We'll run it for a little while and bam. That's a lot less leaks. Thank you very much. So the only leaks that are left are those I were pre-existing from YAML stuff, which I'm still going to look at sometime in the future, but that's way less that's acceptable for the moment. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So let's kind of get these guys in here. Right. Let's see if I can do I even use this anymore. No. Can I just go to the file, please? Yeah. Run under complete is gone. This is still working, right? I'm not insane. Correct. Okay. Another stride forward. Now, next part of render graph stuff is basically this, the rendering to window section right here, down to about here. Those are submitted separately, okay. So what I, what, what, what I need, I need, Not the result. Of, okay, no, hold on. There's two bits. There's a resolve to swap image. So this thing, the, the resolve or blit, those two, those that can be two separate pass type jobs that I can put into the system separately. And then I can out from outside the system determine which one I want to do. And then the other part is this which is just the rendering, which is not even that much. I mean, I'm not exactly the happiest about kind of splitting up the jobs into a bunch of different command buffers, which there's going to be like a little bit of um, probably a bit more overhead from like changing command buffers so often. But it does give me a much, especially for things like this, where I don't really need to have a transition point. But on the other hand, like I can do better, you know, asynchronous calls and jobs. Uh, so it's kind of a trade-off I guess I'll take in the end. Ultimately, I need that kit. So I got three more things to do. I got to do the the blit, the copy, pass, and then the the actual like this render bit right here. Okay. Once I have all of that, then I'm gonna have to start figuring out like for real how to deal with like the changes of like image layouts across things. Is required and I'm gonna to have to start adding some real like make sure that let's say the thing that's passed to the UI pass is actually some kind of color buffer color render target a render target that's a color format of some sort that I can render to rather than some kind of bizarre depth format or something I 
So, yeah. Okay, but you know what? I can do, I mean, what? It's, yeah, been a bit longer. So I think I'll actually call it there for the moment. Once, one step closer. I'm about halfway through the render, the render graph system. So once I have this, and then I have these other bits, I'm going to come, I'm just going to like, with all the whatever that I've gained, the knowledge, the context that I've gained from doing this, then I'll figure out a, a, a second pass, a second iteration of render graph that is refined and better and handles things much better than this. Because right now it's no real, not really much better than the hard code where I've just, I just know everything beforehand. I can't rely on that. I just can't. Anyways, cheers. Until next time.